What is up guys? It's your boy, Rick Kakis. And today, with the new weekly reset for Destiny 2, we have a new exotic quest available, allowing you to delve deeper into the Whisper exotic mission, find new secrets, and upgrade your Whisper of the Worm exotic sniper rifle even more. And so, let's get started. Now, first things first, you will need to go to Eris Morn on the Moon to pick up uh, the Week 2 Exotic Quest. And the first objective is going to be, as you can see, to defeat Taken Combatants with the Whisper of the Worm equipped to collect their Taken Essences. And that part is actually pretty important. I kind of read this wrong initially and I was shooting a bunch of Taken with the actual Whisper, and of course that was working, but as you can see right here, again, you can just have it equipped in the heavy slot and then use a primary or a special or whatever other uh, weapon to take these guys down and eventually the exotic quest is going to update. Now you have to destroy the second set of Taken Blights in the exotic mission The Whisper on Legend difficulty. So at this point guys, if you're going second set, uh, you missed the first week, don't worry, I do have a video guide linked right up above, uh, so check that out, and that's gonna also have a link to the original, like, just how to beat the Whisper mission guide if you are starting off from scratch. If you are all up to date and you did all of the Whisper stuff last week, here's what you need to do now. Again, you load in on Legend difficulty, you're going to go through as normal. I do want to point out that if you actually go to the location of the last like hidden object at where shooting it would unlock more intrinsic perks for your Whisper, it's simply not there and there is a new one this week. Regardless, uh, you're going to continue forward all the way through the Whisper mission until you get to this point here where you are jumping on the sides of these pillars while the Taken Blights are trying to push you off. Now you're going to make your way forward until you're kind of at this last pillar. Now at this point as you can see around the corner you can actually shoot this Vex object which will extend a platform allowing you to easily land here so you don't fall to your death if you time that opening and closing door wrong. Now importantly this is also a great staging platform so you can jump here and then turn right around and as you can see jump to the platform on the other side of this final pillar and here you will find that hidden object so as you can see once you shoot it you will get the white nail upgrade and importantly you're gonna see four up here on my screen, but you might have something else. Remember last week when it would only work for the person who shot it and it would sometimes give you multiple intrinsic perks and I said, this is so crazy, I think it's a glitch? Well, I was right. As you can see right here, uh, part of the update that was applied today is going to fix an issue where only one player uh, can actually break the Oracle and you'll actually see in the background gameplay, um, my other teammates shoot where it was and they still get it because on their screen it's still there. And also, it fixes an issue where you could get more of these uh, intrinsic upgrades as intended. So, again, you might get a different intrinsic upgrade, and you might not get anything at all if you were someone who just got, like, all of the intrinsic upgrades uh, last week. So, keep that in mind. But we still have another secret to find, and that is the second set of Blights. So, you're going to continue forward as normal until you get into the green room. And once you do, you can easily see the first blight suspended in the air right here. Now remember, you actually have to shoot it specifically with the Whisper of the Worm or else it will be immune. Once you shoot that first one, another one is going to spawn in this upper left corner. And then once you shoot that one, the third one will spawn, but as you can see, like, I did not see anything. Uh, there is no blight on my screen, and I actually had to move forward in the green room to have this blight render. And if you actually see where it ends up being, like, clearly, again, I was not just overlooking it. It was literally not on my screen. So just keep that in mind. If you're having trouble finding some of these blights, you might have to just move forward in this green room, uh, move around to actually have them uh, render on your screen. Regardless, guys, when you do shoot all three of those blights with the Whisper, the quest is going to update, and now you simply have to complete uh, the Whisper mission on Legend difficulty. So you will have to uh, go through the rest of the mission, um, and the rest of the mission is where you are going to have to fight 
all the ads as well as the bosses as you can see right here. Now you absolutely do not have to uh, spawn all three of them at the same time. If you are struggling, absolutely just spawn one at a time. Kill that guy, uh, shoot the next Vex square to spawn the other one and continue forward from there. Eventually, however, when you do kill these first three bosses and then the big ogre boss that does spawn, you can open the chest. You're actually just going to get another Whisper of the Worm, but it will be powerful. Keep that in mind. And then the quest step is going to update. You simply have to go back to the moon and talk to Eris Morn, and then she's going to give you the new perk this week for your Whisper, which is going to be No Distractions. Yeah, uh, field prep is not coming off, so <laughs> that perk is kind of useless, but remember guys, you, uh, it, depending on what intrinsic perk you got, so again, I got like White Nail 4, I'm now able to go and reshape my Whisper, and then as you can see, I can now put a stock on, whereas before I didn't have that option, they were all locked. So that's just uh, another upgrade to my Whisper to make it a little bit better. Guys, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.